friends, coming at you from a quarantine, here to give you another video. I know I've been gone a while, but I'm back and that's all that really matters. So today I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks and whys and why nots to do or be a part of a junior college or a community college or a whatever you call it college. I am personally enrolled in a junior college right now and I had a whole bunch of questions going into it. I had a whole bunch of concerns and I feel like I have kind of become an expert about the topic because, you know, I go to the college, so, you know. So I'm here to give you a video to talk about it because it's not talked about much and I think that it needs to be. So let's get into it. If you don't know me, my name is Brooke. Hi, welcome to my channel. How you doing? <laughs> um, I am currently going to Blaine College, which is around the Houston area and some other parts in Texas mainly. I go to the campus in Bryan College Station because, you know, that's just where I ended up. And I'm also planning on transferring to a and which I'm actually going through the process right now. So I thought it's a great idea to crank this video out while I'm still technically a Blinn student and while everyone's in quarantine anyways. And so you need something to watch and this may or may not help you. So I hope it does. I am a animal science major and I want to go to vet school to become a small large animal mixed vet practice. For my first point of why to go to a junior college is that it is cheaper to go to a junior college than a normal university and I know that as a fact because for A&M it is I think almost doubled the price to go to school at A&M than at Blinn. Um, and that's not even really taking into account like housing and if you want to be on a meal plan or what kind of parking you want and like all these different things that you can also be involved in at a major university. Blend just has a normal parking pass. It's I think $250 or something around that. It's, it's over 200, but I think it's less than 300. So there's, there's that. But at A&M, they have a whole bunch of different parking lots and parking garages, which you can choose. And I think they get pretty expensive. That's also not counting if you want to do a sports pass where you get to go to any game anywhere for free, technically, because you've already like bought a pass, which is also a really good price because tickets are not cheap and it's only like $300. And if you go to basically three of the major games, at least, and you have like decent seats, you've already made the most out of your pass. Regardless of that, it is cheaper. And I know for me, I am paying for my college myself. I actually don't have any scholarships at Blinn. I'm planning on getting more scholarships at a and But yeah, I am paying for all of my college, so it's fun. And going to Blinn, I didn't have to pay as much tuition this semester because it's cheaper. My number two point of why you should go to a junior college before going to university is that your GPA gets completely wiped. When you transfer from a junior college to a university that you really want to go to, your GPA gets completely wiped. So it's almost like you're starting on a fresh slate which is really nice, especially if you were trying to go to med school, dentist school, or vet school like me, because now you have an avenue to bring your GPA up or just like kind of have a really good standing, especially because your first classes that you're probably going to take at a junior college are all gonna be your standard classes. So if you're not good at like English or history or something and you get like a really hard professor, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, you still need to get into that university. So yes, I still need to get into AM. I still have really good grades. Um, but if for some reason like I did really bad on one of my tests, I don't have to 
I personally think of it this way. You really shouldn't stress and sweat about really bad grades all the time because that's really not good for you. You need to just like work hard for everything. But yeah, you basically have a clean slate and it's really nice if you're trying to get into a new college. Okay, so my third point. I have quite a few points. Um, at a junior college, you are going to have smaller classes than you are at a major university. So Texas A&M has like lecture halls of 300 kids. My chem class has a whopping seven students in it. Seven. That's nothing. Um, it's really beneficial, especially if it's a hard class like chemistry. Chemistry sucks, by the way. Hate it. And I also have to take like seven chemistries to get into vet school. So wish me luck. Anyways, um, the reason why small classes are generally more beneficial is because it's easier to talk to your teacher. If there's 300 kids all trying to speak to this one professor that you have, it's going to be a lot harder to be able to get that professor's attention for him to help you on whatever you need to be helped on. Um, another point that's really good is you get a good discussion out of it because if you have a small class, everyone has the ability to get heard kind of thing. And so you're done, you're doing lecture, your teacher's lecturing, she's going through the PowerPoint, she's writing on the board, whatever. If someone has a question, they can just be like, oh, hey, I don't really understand that. Could you go over that again? And it helps the whole class because then the class could also like come back to you and be like, hey, well, this is how you do it or this is why. And you have a better chance of having a really good discussion in these smaller classes than if you were in a big lecture hall. Okay, my fourth point. This may be a Blinn only thing. I don't really know. I've never really been involved in any other junior colleges than this one. But something that I really appreciate about my chem class, and I'm pointing that one out because it has a lab, um, is that the lab is directly after my lecture. It's like across the hall, like 10 minutes later, we get a 10 minutes break, 10 minute break, and then we go to our lab. And that's so nice. And I know people who will have their labs at a and at like 9 p.m. at night, and they have it with a um, TA. At other universities such as a and you don't have your lecture professor in your lab. You have a, kind of like a, TA, I think they're call it. I'm not really sure. Don't fact me, check me on that, please. Please. Um, but they're the ones who are going to oversee the labs. And yes, you can get help from them. And yes, they can be really nice. But at the same time, your professor is the one that's going to grade most of your work. And so that's another reason why I have really liked it. Because I know a lot of kids who have complained to me about having to go to, to a lab at a completely different time and be there for three hours and all this other stuff. And I just think that my life is so much easier because I went to Blinn and took chemistry there. Another great thing about junior colleges such as Blinn is that your campus is going to be smaller than a ma major university. My campus for Blinn is the same length as my high school. I went to a big high school regardless but from one end of my high school to the other end of my high school is the same distance for Blinn. Yes Blinn has different like buildings and my high school was all in one building but it's easier to navigate it's not as complicated as a major university and it's just a nice transition. I got two more points. Okay so Another reason to go to a junior college, I keep repeating these words, but it's all the same thing. Anyways, um, another good reason to go to a junior college is that your classes for your basics, every single major has basics that you're gonna have to take without a doubt, and it sucks, and I hate them, but you know, you just gotta crank through them and get through it. Every single, major has the same basics. Every university has basically the same basics and you can take them at a junior college for cheaper price with smaller classes with better 
sometimes for other profs, sometimes easier classes. And it's just a lot nicer of a transition than going from high school to a major university. And I know that I've just appreciated it a lot, but you know, I wrote for it to each their own. All right, last one, we can do this. So this doesn't really apply to me, but it does apply to quite a few people. So going to college, most people our age, my age, college people's age, high school people's age, don't know what they're gonna do. I have, feel so fortunate that I know not what I wanna do for so long and it's never been a surprise or a wonder of like, oh, what am I gonna do with my life? I've always had a passion for animals. I've always wanted to be a vet kind of thing. But for a lot of people, they have no idea. And so what's nice about being in a junior college is that you get more time to figure that out. You get an extra year or two maybe to just figure out what major you wanna to go to, what really like makes you passionate, what will make you happier in the long run, what will help you serve your family well kind of thing. Um, and it is scary, but you do have to pick a major. And I know a few friends of mine who are halfway through like their engineering classes or their health classes and they're like, mm, I don't know if I wanna do this. And I haven't taken any, well, I actually took an animal science class this semester, which was a general class to get into A&M or that I could transfer into A&M with. Um, but they're all taking these classes and they're like, I'm not huge like very passionate about this. I don't know if I want to do it. Like, is there anything else I could do? Like, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy like trying to get into this engineering thing next semester or trying to get into this next semester for health. I don't know. So that's something that I've also thought that it's a really cool thing about going to a junior college is so you can get some time to decide because college is a really scary thing. Adulthood is a scary thing, but just taking time to like sit back and realize what you really want to do helps so much to calm your frustrations and your anxieties about the future. Okay guys, I think that was basically all of everything that I've got left to say about junior college. I personally would not go back and go into a Texas A&M first if I could go back in time um it's only been a year of my life and it sounds terrifying at the beginning but it's really not that bad um something that I did struggle with and I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys because I don't I want to help you as much as possible um some things that I did struggle with were like finding a friend community because yes there are some organizations at junior colleges but not many that I would fit into really for what I want to do so I did like FFA in high school and obviously there's not much FFA stuff that you can do in college but there was nothing that I could really do at Blinn in general anyways um saying that I am really blessed to be able to find friends elsewhere. I started going to a really good church by me and I found a really good sense of community there and made a whole ton of friends there so far. Um, I also got a job at the university at Texas A&M because I needed to get money and it also has brought me like my social hour and it's a really nice job. I actually love my job and I miss it right now because um, all the student workers can't work at the moment because of quarantine and all of the awful things that are going around in the world. But yes, that is what has happened for the past year and I am so thankful for everything that I've been through and I'm super, 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 super excited for the future and I'm just pumped to see where life takes me in these next few months. Um, I really hope that everything goes planned, but if it doesn't, it's probably gonna end up beautiful anyways. So anyways, I don't have much more to say. Um, I am hoping and praying that 
this coronavirus is gonna go away soon and I am thinking of every single one of you. And yeah, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to comment down below, follow me on Instagram, DM me, do all the things. If you need any advice at all, I can look into colleges for you and help you set up your future. Oh my gosh, it sounds so scary. I'd love to help if you needed it though. So anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you stay healthy. I hope your family stays healthy. I hope that this crisis ends super soon. And I love you guys. Bye friends. Oh, 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 oh,